Discussions between physicians and patients about death and dying are uncomfortable and often avoided even in situations where death may occur or will occur. Advanced care planning defines a patient's wishes should they be unable to speak for themselves or die. A new study shows not only is there a lack of patients engaging in advanced care planning, it also showed those who did not have a plan were those who need them the most. So our results should impress upon the minds of physicians and patients that engaging in advanced care planning is important for everyone, especially those who have a potentially life-threatening situation. Researchers at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha and the Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center in Seattle evaluated 343 patients who had stem cell transplants at UNMC between 2001 and 2003. Surprisingly, half the patients had not engaged in advanced care planning. Those patients were more than twice as likely to die after transplantation compared to patients who had plans. It's estimated less than one in 10 Americans have completed advanced care planning. Even in situations where death is anticipated, planning is relatively rare and occurs in about one quarter of the patients. The physicians feel uncomfortable bringing up that issue because they're, they're traditionally viewed as curers or healers. And if they bring up this issue of death and dying, it's as if they're taking away that hope from the patient. Researchers caution that their findings do not suggest a cause and effect relationship, meaning not having a plan does not mean the patient will die, just as having a plan does not mean the patient will survive. Because we believe still that the determinant, the, 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 the most important determinant of outcomes of transplantation are biological uh, parameters, the aggressiveness of the disease, the age of the patient, the performance status of the patient, the aggressiveness of the disease. So these are the factors that would affect eventually mostly the outcome. Researchers said the need for advanced care planning is great, especially before stem cell transplantation, while the patient is competent. When there are some members in the family who don't want to let go, whereas others don't want to see the person suffer, and it's a big emotional tug of war between the two. And so if in those situations there was an uh, advanced care planning done by the patient, then that emotional distress would not be caused to the patient's family members. Dr. Loberitsa and his colleagues theorize about why patients without advanced care planning do worse. Patients who sign ACP are intrinsically different behaviorally than patients who didn't sign it. And I think this comes, this stems intuitively. Though most people walking into hospitals each day aren't facing life-threatening illnesses, patients may want to consider talking about advanced care planning with their family members. Patients being admitted to hospitals can get free advanced care planning through the hospital.